Good day, everyone. Welcome to today's author virtual interview. My name is Gab, and I will be your host for today. I am thrilled to be joined by Rita Giordano, the author of the book, Aftershock. Hi, Rita. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Can you tell us about yourself? And without spoiling, can you tell us about your book, Aftershock? Yes, I can tell you about um, Aftershock. I'm recently widowed. I took care of my husband for several years, and um, that's about all I can say about me right now. But uh, my book, Aftershock, is a fun book. It's based on the Bible and what would happen after Jesus returns for his church. There's a lot of action and intrigue in it. It's a fun book to read as well as an important topic. Thank you. What inspired you to write Aftershock and delve into the themes of end time prophecies? Lots and lots of things, but I to spare you time, I actually ended up dreaming that I was left behind. And so I wanted to write a book that would warn people and remind them that Jesus is coming soon. We're looking around and we see all the things that are going on in this time in our country and around the world. And uh, I think the signs are there that Jesus is going to return soon. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Can you share any personal experiences or struggles that influence the development of the characters in your book? Um, yeah, I actually dreamed that I was left behind. So when I brought out the character of Carly, she was much younger and definitely not me. And I, but I used that moment because I was in traffic when I realized Jesus had returned and we couldn't move and everything was congested. And I ended up understanding that the Lord had returned. So I used that as my jumping off place for Carly's character. That's very interesting. How did you approach the research process for incorporating Bible prophecies into your fictional narrative? Well, it's actually a lot of fun. I love reading the Bible. I love studying the Bible. And so I took what I already had um, studied over many years and threw it together with um, my imagination and what I felt uh, was stacking up to being people involved in uh, maybe being left behind themselves. And I just, what would I do? What would I do if I was left behind like I was in the dream? So. Thank you for sharing that. What message or moral lesson do you hope readers will take away from reading Aftershock? I think it's really important that we understand that the, the world is changing quickly around us. And that it's very obvious Jesus is returning for his church. To me, it is anyway. And I know there's different people have different ideas about it, but I believe we're facing end time prophecies. And it's really important that we as a nation and as individuals start to think about what we would do. And uh, hopefully people will be ready to go. That's my biggest desire is that people turn to Christ and are ready to actually um go away with him. Thank you. Those are very helpful notes. In what ways do you think your book stands out from other works of fiction that explore sim similar themes? Well, I think it has a lot to do with that. It is written in story format. Instead of writing a lot of technical biblical things, while there is a lot of Bible scripture in there just so the reader can check me and see what they think themselves about what I'm basing my ideas on. It It is told in a story to entertain. It's not there to 
only educate, but I'm hoping people will just have fun and enjoy it very much. And maybe it will minister to them as well as friends and neighbors and family members that they might be wanting to share Christ with. I admire your creativity. Thank what you. challenges? You're welcome. What challenges did you face while writing Aftershock and how did you overcome them? Hmm. It wasn't challenging to me. It was just fun. I had so much fun writing it. Um, when I was thinking about writing it, I actually had people come up to me. There was someone standing in the line behind me at Walmart. And this lady goes, can you teach me end time prophecies? And I'm like, yeah, sure. I could teach it. And then I was at the I uh, post office. Could you teach end time prophecies? And this gentleman asked me, I said, I think so. I was very surprised people were asking me, but in a matter of a day and a half, I had three people ask me to start teaching end time prophecies. So I felt it was important. It was needed. And it was something that I could really sink my teeth into and have a lot of fun doing in this way. Wonderful. Can you discuss the significance of the title Aftershock and how it relates to the events in the book? Well, I think that when Jesus returns, there will be aftershock. Not in the sense that we think of uh, an earthquake and then the rumblings afterward, but there's going to be a lot of people looking around going, what has happened? Because people they love are going to disappear. And the word of God actually says that someone will be working beside you and they will disappear. You'll be walking down the road and suddenly the person you're talking to will no longer be there. Well, why not? What is that? And I believe it's going to bring little shocks to people. And there will be aftershock in that way. Thank you. How did you develop the character of Carly and her journey throughout the story? She came to me really easily. Um, as I shared with you, I saw myself on the freeway and I was seeing all this chaos happening. And I ended up just uh, developing a character that would be very young, um, very ambitious, Someone who uh, knew what she wanted and was going after it, had the right person in her life and, and had uh, prod prodded him along to get him to be part of that. It was just fun. It was, it just came really easily. I'm glad it was an easy um, path for you, mm -hmm. but it was fun for you too. It was very fun. What do you hope readers will feel or experience while reading Aftershock? I hope they will feel that Jesus is coming. They will feel the impending. Uh, it's going to happen soon. I, I really believe that we need to be ready. And, the, and Jesus said he's coming back for a church that is waiting for him and ready for him. And, and I'm hoping that that will cause them to actually want to be ready and want to help others get ready and just get excited about the fact that, you know, if we look around at this world, we can be depressed. But if we remember that Jesus is returning, we can look up and the word of God says that that's what we should comfort one another with is the words that Jesus is returning soon, and we are going to be with him forever in eternity. So. That's very beautiful, Rita. I will always remember that. Thank you. Are there any specific scenes or moments in the book that hold a special meaning to you as, a, as the author? There's a lot of them, but I, I wrote my dad into it. My dad's been gone since um, the 80s, and... So I put a, a guy in there that's a hunter, and he has a dog named King. My husband had a German shepherd named King when I married him. So I brought in some very special characters to me, this beautiful dog that I had known when I married my husband. And 
anytime I think on my dad, I have beautiful memories. He's the mountain guy that was living in a cave and took care of the young people who come into it. And um, I just think, you know, Hero, a special person. And it makes me happy to think about him. That's very sweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Where can we purchase your book? Oh, um, Aftershock can be purchased from Authors Press. I love the name of it, Authors Press, and also at Amazon.com. Thank you. So, yeah. Wonderful. How was your experience working with Authors Press? It's been really unique, very different. Um, everybody is very sweet, very kind, and I've had a lot of fun with that, too. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining me today. Um, it is my pleasure speaking with you. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful day. You too. Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Please don't forget to check Aftershock by Rita Giordano. Happy reading. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. Authors Class.